Ted, and today we've unpacked a super cool item, the Black Falcon Spy Drone from Jobar. Let's take a look at everything that I've pulled out of the box. Here we have the drone itself, which comes ready to fly right out of the box, so there's no assembly required. And here is the remote, which I will get to in just a moment. The drone has four propellers. Each propeller is driven by its own motor, and it's all powered by this lightweight lithium battery. And check this out. This is the feature I cannot wait to use. The camera is right here, and it records to this two gigabyte TF card that can store up to 75 minutes of high quality video. That's an hour and 15 minutes of video, or up to 7,500 still images. They've also included a detachable protective cage, replacement propellers, and this handy propeller wrench. A USB adapter to charge the lithium battery, and a card reader so you can transfer your videos and pictures to your computer. Okay, I'm gonna charge the battery now by carefully plugging this black and red wire into the USB adapter like so, and then plugging the adapter into my computer or into the USB charger for my phone. The battery takes about 30 minutes to charge and this red light is telling me that we are ready to go. Finally, I connect these two wires. Now I'm gonna insert the TF card and my drone is ready to fly. Now, let's put our AA batteries into the remote and see how it works. Put the cover back on. Almost ready to fly. It's a good idea to choose a wide open space to practice without a lot of people around. I'm gonna start by setting the button to beginner, then I hold the left throttle stick in the down position and then turn the remote on. And that beep lets me know that this drone is synced. I push the left throttle stick very gently forward to ascend and back to descend. I can push the throttle stick very gently to the left to turn left and to the right to turn right. Let's move to the right hand throttle stick. When I push it very gently forward, the front of the drone tilts down and the drone moves forward. When I pull it back, the front of the drone tilts up and it moves backward. When I push it very gently to the left, the left side of the drone tilts down and it moves sideways to the left. And the right position moves it sideways to the right. Got it? Good. Let's take a look at the trim buttons. These buttons allow you to stabilize the drone when you are trying to hover. If the drone is moving sideways to the left, continuously press this trim button to the right until it recovers. If the drone is moving sideways to the right, continuously press the trim button to the left until it recovers. If the drone is moving backwards, continuously press this trim button forward until it recovers. If the drone is moving forward, continuously press the trim button backward until it recovers. This trim button is to stop the drone from spinning. If it's spinning to the left, press the button to the right until it stops. If it's spinning to the right, move it to the left. This button controls the camera. Click it to take a photo, hold it for two seconds to start the video, then click to stop filming. Ready for the fun part? This is the flip key, which turns the drone upside down. Okay, let's fly. All right, we're back. Let's take a look at the film. All I have to do is take my TF card, put it in my card reader, insert that into my computer, and check it out. Oh, this is good. Eat your heart out, Spielberg. 